Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and today's video I am going to be giving you a peek into our autumn baskets. Now each season I like to create a little welcome to the season basket for my boys. Toby is one, about 16 months old and Rupert is three and a half. And these little baskets are a great way of celebrating the beginning of the season, letting go of the previous one, and just adding a bit of joy, rhythm, and ritual to life. As a mother, this also makes me really happy too. I love creating these baskets. It makes it really just so exciting for myself as well. And that's part of the reason I do it too, to make me a happier parent and to just get really excited about the seasons. So I'm gonna give you a little peek inside these baskets that I created and show you um, yeah, what I picked and what I thought would be a nice little introduction to the season for my two uh, toddlers. So I'm currently drinking a sage tea because I'm actually finished nursing my youngest and um, I am drinking sage tea to try and help <laughs> dry up the milk if you're wondering what that uh, is in my cup. So these are the two baskets that I had. Um, I had this one already and this one I had bought at Easter time for Toby and Rupert as a kind of cute little Easter basket. So we're reusing that one. This one I think is called a berry picking basket because as you can see it's really dinky and small. Um, so um, it's really sweet for Toby in particular because it's so dinky. So these are the two baskets kind of like all set up, but I will just take out everything quickly and show you them in more detail. So in this basket, this is for Rupert, the first thing I got was this sweet little kite. Um, this is um, a Grimm's celebration ring um, figure. And I'll just quickly grab my celebration ring that I use. So the celebration ring is this thing here and it comes with um, another four pieces so you get like a whole circle which is really nice as well for birthdays and things but I often just use it like this so this is um it set up for autumn but I'm actually going to swap out the mushroom for the kite because I think that will be perfect for early um autumn because of the wind and it's still lots of playing outside so I've put that in um his basket in fact I could probably put that one in Toby's and it gives them both something to pop inside this ring and I've also gone for the apple and the squirrel, but we already had those. So that's the first thing that I thought I would put in his basket. These are about three or four pounds. They're not too expensive. And they're something that I just buy at sort of celebration times like autumn or birthdays and Christmas. And then we've sort of built up a collection of those. Then I also got this really fun nutcracker and it's obviously in the shape and color of a mushroom which is really quite fun and you can pop the um, nuts in there and then use this to um, crack the nuts and I thought this would be a really good activity for Rupert using his um, little hands and his motor skills so I think both the boys will really like that. I also got this very sweet little figure this is the hazelnut um, Fairy from Ambrosius. Also, sorry about my thumb, as you can see. Um, I have been in the garden, my nails are dirty, and this one, this finger got trapped in a door the other day, so <laughs> sorry about that. Disgusting. Um, but yes, this is a hazelnut fairy. These are so dinky and cute, and these are going to be part of our sort of seasonal nature table. Um, I also got a Stockmar watercolour in yellow. I think yellow is a really good colour for autumn, so we'll be doing lots and lots of play and colouring and language development around the colour yellow. I also have a Holtz Tiger mushroom. So there's two sort of types of these wooden toys that are popular. There's Holtz Tiger and there's Osomai, I think is the name of the other one. Holtz Tiger has just been the one that we've collected. It's that little bit cheaper that it's made it a bit more affordable for us. And I came across this mushroom and I thought that is perfect. So we'll probably add this to our nature table as well. And also the boys can freely play with those. So I also like to put in a little book into um, both the boys seasonal baskets. This one is Woody, Hazel and Little Pip by Elsa Besco, who I love. And the illustrations are really sweet in this. As you can see, the story is quite um, long, so it would work well for an older child too. This is something that can definitely become like a classic for your kids and something that they really enjoy. Really, really beautiful. Very, very cute. And again, lots of autumnal activities. 
the yellow leaves, the squirrels getting ready for autumn and that idea of feasting and celebrating and yeah, mushrooms. So all the sort of visuals that the kids will really be seeing during autumn are in this book but it also has a charming little tale and I just think those illustrations are so beautiful. Huge, huge fan of Elsa Besco. Um, highly recommend any of her books. And then I also got this matching game. This is from Ebo. I thought this would be great for Rupert. This is Woodland Life, so it does sort of have a bit of an autumnal theme. So that's some of the cards there and you just match up um, the little images. So I thought that'd be a good one for Rupert to do. We might single out just a few of them, like a squirrel and a leaf and the acorn and not overload him, but that's what's in the entire pack. There's a fish, an acorn, leaf, pine cone, owl, is that a skunk? I think so. Um, a little red bird, a turtle, raccoon, duck, deer, chipmunk, bear, raspberries, bees or wasps, wasps, I suppose that must be wasps, um, a bird and a lizard. So I probably won't use all of these just because some of them aren't really very um, local to us, but definitely I'll probably take out up to six and use this as a game for both the boys. And then finally in Rupert's basket are these two lovely silks. These, I think I got these from Mama Owl, which is a shop I really like. There's this lovely yellow silk, which will just be great again for um, our focus on yellow this season. And also a lovely sort of woodlandy colour as well, which would be great for playing. And I like to include a silk um, in our baskets. It's not necessary, they are quite expensive, but I really want to build up a collection of these and um, it kind of is the cheapest way of doing it is to sort of buy them occasionally <laughs> as a treat. So um, yeah, and then I just sort of fluff them up, I put them in the basket and then I fill up the basket. So it's really such a quick and easy thing to do, creating one of these little autumnal baskets, but it is really good fun and just such a lovely thing for the kids to get really excited about the season. We're also gonna be doing some coloring in of a um, kite and playing with kites so that's why I wanted to bring that in just to include that in our language as well so yeah that is Rupert's so next up is Toby's basket Toby's basket is a lot smaller um, he's only a year and a half but I know he's going to really really love looking through this he also got a little Ambrosius felt figure this is a gnome who I adore I think this is the cutest thing ever with his little red hat so so sweet and they do stand up and you can move their little legs and arms around um but yeah he's not going to stand up right now but he is very cute and he actually um is going to pair up with this book which is pip the gnome and the forest feast but feast by admar quant and i thought this would be a really nice book for toby to sort of bring in the ideas of autumn it's a nice simple story this little characters are all sort of woodland themed. There's the bunny and the mouse, and the gnome is collecting up all the food for a big autumnal feast. Um, so we've got the squirrel there, and then, um, yeah, that's the last page there. They all have a beautiful feast together. So very, very sweet, um, and a nice one that you could recreate with the Holtz Tiger figures as well, uh, like the mushroom and that kind of thing would work really well, and the silks. So I got him his own Holtz Tiger toy. This is the squirrel, which is, again, you can see the quality of these toys are so good. They are so tactile and chunky and really lovely to play with and realistic as well. Like they're not too um, simple, which I do like about the Holtz Tiger ones in particular. And I thought, again, this would be really nice for playing this sort of Pip and the Gnome game and something that they can also use for years to come because they're still so young. Um, that's that um, Grimm's celebration ring toy. So he has something to put in as well. And then keeping in the theme of yellow, I got this Oco Norm yellow Play-Doh, um, which will be a great fun thing for both the boys to play with. And then finally, Toby gets an orange silk. This is part of a set, those three silks that I got. And um, that's a little orange one, again, which is nice because it's those lovely colours of autumnal leaves. And then I just put a bit of cardboard at the bottom of this just so I could raise it all up so he can see what's in his basket. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pop everything back in now and hide these away for another couple of days just because I think it's still a little bit early, but 
autumn is definitely arriving here. You can see I've already got my first pumpkin. Um, so yes, definitely excited for a change of season. And I'm hoping the boys are going to be really, really excited by these beautiful little baskets.